think some strings that can be in a relationship are temptation. If you're tempted like to do stuff with that person that you probably shouldn't be doing, then try to keep yourself away from that temptation. And if it keeps on persisting, then just break up with that person because apparently it's not going to do anything good for you except tempt you and bring you farther away from God. I would define a godly dating relationship on whether or not it grows you closer to God or not. Um, if you're, you know, dating someone and it's drawing you further from God, then obviously it's not godly anymore. Not only does it have to not distract you, I also think it needs to grow you. Um, it's one thing to be able to stay focused on God while you're in a relationship, but it's a completely another level to grow in Christ while you're in a dating relationship. I always wanted to impress this person, whether it be a girl or a guy, I just wanted to impress them. And it just finally came to a point where I'm like, why am I doing this, you know? I mean, why am I trying to get this guy's approval or this girl's approval whenever my real purpose is to get God's approval? Uh, one string in my life that I kind of uh, was battling is just the string of, you know, a girlfriend in general. And maybe you like a girl um, or you're going out with a girl. That was a string because it definitely distracted from God's purpose. We see, like, on these TV shows and these movies, these two people who are in a relationship, they do these things that shouldn't be done whenever they're just dating. And we think, oh, hey, that's what normal people do. Why don't we just do it? We have to think that, well, that's not what God says. We have to have, like, limits to what we do. In order to keep a godly relationship godly, that kind of has to do with each person individually as opposed to the two in the relationship. If one person is not seeking God in their own time, then I believe that the relationship will suffer because of that. At this age, I can't really get married because that's how I see a relationship, like being with someone to get married with them. And like whenever you're dating someone, you're like trying to see who is right and who's not. And so like at this age, why would I try to date whenever I'm only 14 years old, I have no income, and I'm still living with my parents? I would say if you were to ever follow back on one specific relationship, I would let it be just on your relationship with God because he's the one that can ultimately make you happy.